They are the only survivors. 28 people out of hundreds on another ill-fated crossing from Africa to Europe. Next to them, rescuers unload the bodies of some of their fellow passengers who drowned in the Mediterranean. They'll be buried in Malta. So far, only 24 bodies have been found. I would like to inform you that the, uh, the search effort continues as I speak. We have a, uh, the armed forces of Malta have a maritime patrol aircraft which has been dispatched earlier on to assist the, uh, the, the authorities. The boat set sail from near the Libyan capital Tripoli. One survivor said it was overcrowded. Disaster struck 200 kilometers off the Italian island of Lampedusa. The boat capsized and sank. The survivors are being taken to Sicily. The Italian island is one of the main points of entry for African refugees fleeing wars, violence and poverty. They knowingly risk their lives to reach Europe. I owe to myself, I pass through the same road with them, but it's really, really, it's a risk. It's very risky, it's very risky. So it's what made me to come and able to attend and see my fellow brothers who pass away on the sea. Aid groups are among those calling for action to stop such tragedies. Since January, 1,600 people lost their lives in the Mediterranean. Last year, in the same period, since January from April, 96 people died at sea. So 15 times more this year. It's, it's a tragedy, I think, that in this moment, uh, the uh, life-saving mechanism uh, in the Mediterranean are not enough. Meanwhile, the refugees continue to come. Earlier today, these were the distressing images from the coast of the Greek island of Rhodes. More than 90 people were saved from a wooden boat that ran aground. But at least three people, including one child, died.